Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk about direct variation. Um, this can also be known as direct proportionality um, or it can say directly proportional. So if it either says in the problem it's directly or it y varies directly as x or something varies directly as another value or if it says that something is directly proportional um, then you're going to use this equation. So um, x and y just re represent any two values. Um, if y varies directly as x, or if y is directly proportional to x, we're going to use the equation y equals kx, where k represents the constant of variation. Okay, so I have a couple of examples to go through. Um, the first one is if y varies directly as x and y equals 15 when x equals 3, find the constant of variation and write an equation to represent the situation. So for this, this is just a general formula. Um, this one is not giving you any context of what X and Y represent. This is just in general. Um, but anytime you see this, Y varies directly as X, we're just going to write down the equation Y equals KX. There is more than one way to do this, but um, I just am going to show you this one method. It's just the easiest. Okay, um, and then it tells us that Y is 15 when x is 3. So our first step is going to be to find the constant of variation. So if you wanted to, you could have solved for k first and say that k is equal to y divided by x, or you can plug in the numbers, whatever is easier for you. And then we would just divide both sides by 3, and we see that k is going to be 5. So our general equation, so if it asks for the constant of variation, this is our constant of variation. So we did the first part. Okay, and then to write the equation, all we have to do is plug that back in, and we would say that our general equation is y equals 5 times x, and then we could use this to find any other value of y for x. Okay, so this is just the general equation. Okay, um, so the next situation that I have, I actually have a situation where um, we have um, the context of the problem. So the cost C that we're going to use C for cost of turkey varies directly. So it's telling us that it varies directly with the weight W. So they don't have to use X and Y. X and Y are just um, what are typically used, but you can use other variables to represent X and Y. Um, so for this, remember that it's y varies directly with x, so we would just say that c is equal to k times w. Okay, um, so the cost of turkey varies directly with the weight in pounds of the turkey purchase. So um, this is going to be, basically our constant of variation is going to be the cost per pound. Um, so we would just plug in the values that we know. So it says if the total cost of turkey is $5.98 when two pounds were purchased, so we would plug in the $5.98 equals K times two, and then it asks us how much would three and a half pounds of turkey cost. So the first thing that we need to do is find K in order to find um, the cost for three and a half pounds. So if we solve this, we do end up with K equals um, 299. So that's telling us that the cost, this constant um, of variation right now is telling us that the cost or the price for, um, not the total cost, let me put the price. So the price of turkey is $2.99 per pound, okay? So that's what this constant represents this time. It's um, So anything that you buy that has a price per pound is always going to be a constant or it is going to be a direct variation problem. So now if we simplify this, um, we know that the cost per pound is $2.99. So it's telling us that we're going to buy three and a half. So we want to know the total cost. Um, so this would be our general formula. C equals 299 times W. And then we would just find C when W is 3.5. Okay. 
And with this, when you do multiply this out, this gives you 10.465. And we never really pay that um, a half a penny. So we could say that the total cost for three and a half pounds of turkey is ten dollars and it would round to 47 cents so um, hopefully you know how now how to find the um, direct variation so remember anytime it says y varies directly as x or if it says y is directly proportional to x you're always going to use this equation as always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please let me know.